Hello everyone, this is Unfraid Pies and today we will be watching Mandela Catalog Volume 1 and we are going to do this in the dark. In the dark? In the dark. But where is Gus in the dark? I can see myself, Anna. You can see me. Doesn't that alone scare the crap out of you? It does. So let's watch this shit. I can do things like this. Hey, ah. <laughs> or this. Hey. hey. We are currently receiving countless reports of an unidentified hostile organism that we'll refer to as alternates. Until we have a complete understanding of the threat, it's important to stay home, lock all doors and windows, and have access to a loaded firearm or any ranged weapon at all times. You will know if an alternate exists solely based on their physical characteristics. If you see another person that looks identical to you, run away and hide. If you see a person that <laughs> has a biologically impossible characteristic, run away and hide. If one manages to break into your home, refrain from any kind of communication or contact with the threat. These intelligent life forms utilize elements of psychological warfare to take advantage of their victims. While we heavily discourage any form of contact or communication with an alternate, we make exceptions for attempts at executing them yourself. <laughs> That's nightmare material. Yeah, I can right see there. it. In the event of an alternate encounter, follow the think principle. I usually have think nightmares with that shit. Tell an authority figure about your encounter. The think principle hinder the alternate's movement. Identity, the class type. Identify, not identity. <laughs> Neutralize. And the K is what? Kill yourself! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> now your place. Know your place in reality. Now which one is it? Kill yourself or know your place? Doppelganger. People that are very similar to you. Ah, it's fucked up. Victim 1 and Victim 2. They're dead? Cesar Torres, caralho! Mark and Caesar. Hey, it's Caesar. I hope it's not too late. No, it's fine. Don't worry. What's up? Are you alright? Yeah, it's. Not me, it's my mom. She's knocked out cold and I have no idea why. I'm on my way to the ER, but could you do me a favor? Yeah, of course. What is it? Uh, I just need you to come over and turn on the cameras we have set up. You know the ones that we installed after we were robbed? Oh, yeah. Would you mind if I asked why? Oh, well, she screamed really loud right before I found her on the ground. I... I just... Well, do you have your doors and windows locked? Like what the broadcast told us to do? Yeah, that's the weird part. Maybe she saw something? I don't... I don't know. Alright. I mean, it shouldn't be too bad. I'm just gonna switch them on and get out of there, though. You know how I feel about your house. Yeah, that's fine. One last thing. Try to get a good view of the house. <laughs> okay. Alright, I gotta go. I'm almost at the hospital. Thank you. It was Nelson Mandela himself. 
I was gonna say Barack Obama. <laughs> The guy on the phone, the one who called, sounded a bit weird. Was it him that was talking or already an alternate Caesar? Hmm? Remember the other day, what I other dreamt day? of uh, an alternate of you. You did? And then I woke up, screaming. <laughs> not to Wenas, please. Please not to move them. When is it? Is the friend going to Caesar's house? Probably. Setting up the cameras? I guess it is. Motion detected at 3.31. Isn't that the, the witching hour? That's a bit different, isn't it? Or is it me? I'm already seeing shit. <laughs> It's different. Okay, the door is open. That's just good. 534. <laughs> so the increase? Who are you? Get away from me! No! Bitch! This it's shit is unsettling. Yeah. It's wrecking. But, 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 me and Mark, I have a gift for you, you, you. I have a present. I have a surprise. I will not hurt you. No, I want to see where he is on the other side. Neither do I. Well, I kinda do, but I kinda don't. It has been days. Days? What, this is locked in the room? No many has come to help me. <laughs> oh fuck. You fucking bastard! Uh oh, bad decision, Mark. Oh, Mark. Mark is dead. No fun. <laughs> <laughs> no. I told you about Gus being in the dark, Anna. That's fucking terrifying. Stop looking decision. at me. And why did you have to do that shit? My goddamn neck. Your heart is fine. <laughs> I Your need to go to another doctor. <laughs> But it came for me. Oh, they're covering Mark's face. It was Mark, right? It's illegal and punishable by law. So I want to watch it. 
the county police department emergency call operator while at the station, a situation may occur where the local 911 dispatchers run out of operators to handle calls, so they are given to us instead. There are three, and only three, scenarios that you will handle with a caller. When a caller needs the police, send available personnel to the address. When the caller has a fire-related emergency, contact our neighboring fire department with the address and a brief description of the event. When the caller has a medical emergency, immediately contact the Mandela Community Hospital. I just, I, I just don't want to see another face. And you Here stop the right Mandela there, County bitch. Police You're department. too close to me. We thank you for you that. and this instruction. Do not help a caller reporting an alternate encounter. Do not help? No matter how frantic their screams are. Uh... Calmly reassure the caller that help is on the way, but it is not. <laughs> the call can be ended when they stop responding to your questions. Do not speak too much. You might accidentally reveal your fear. Nothing is worth the risk, nothing is worth the risk, nothing is worth the risk. I would be fucked. Toddler stress. Assessment video. Record your child's responses to the following video. Section 1. Birds. Birds. Am I the child being recorded? Birds. A nightmare. A nightmare. Nightmare. <laughs> Don't answer just yet. Okay. Oh, it wasn't you. <laughs> Satan. Daddy didn't that mean. Is Satan your daddy? And there is a man in the cave closet? Yeah. <laughs> it's your mother's love affair. The scary night. Mandela Elementary School. Great 4K. 4K is what? Kindergarten? Like 4th year? Kindergarten? I'm not sure if you're... Scales. <laughs> what do you say? Your scales? No. Whatever. Attention. So I went to mommy's. I was scared. There was scary knocking on the door. Not knocking wrong, stupid kid. <laughs> and the scariest, scariest part is walking by the dark room by the stairs. Scary. Me. Almost at mommy's room. Then I saw the man in the corner. <clears throat> well, it looks nice. Hmm. And then I fell asleep at the end. Okay. Then how did you write that shit? After you woke up. Kitty! So cute! Happy family on the casserole! <laughs> Balloon! Oh no, there's always a clown after that. This is not red. Oh, the dark room. Near the stairs. The red room. Red room. Red room. Red room. Oh no! 
we're gonna see the, the dude. Yep. Oh, this is not as cute as in the drawing. An intruder. He looks a bit psycho. Yeah. Module complete. If anything unexpected occurred during the test, let your advisor know immediately. The Mandela Catalog, Volume 1, created by Alex Kister. Special thanks to the analog horror community for your ongoing support. God damn it. This shit is unnerving. Like, it's... It's unnerving. I want to watch the other volumes. Yeah, two more. I know, and I want to watch them. Don't the you feel all scrambled inside? Yes, I kind of don't know how to feel. Yeah, it's like watching that Weird. Ringu tape again. Oh yeah, yeah, it's kind of like that. It's confusing, creepy, disturbing. Not and you never know where Gaius was. Yeah, yeah, that that wasn't very good when these freaking guys <laughs> yeah, appeared and uh, you like a stupid did you ass. Enjoy it? No, I did not enjoy it. Wait, let me see. Now you can see my stupid ass. Fight. Did you enjoy ah, it? Yeah. No, <laughs> get away, bitch. Okay, everyone, hope you guys enjoyed volume one, and I'm probably gonna do volume two and three if you guys want me to. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Ooh.